Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a uh, differential equation using power series. Okay, so uh, I have this example x plus 1 times y double prime plus y prime equals 0. Alright, so... And uh, you are given a, sol a single solution as y equals a power series from 1 to infinity negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n times x to the end. Okay, so I have a second derivative here, first derivative here, and I'm given a single solution. So for second derivative, I need to have two solutions. So I know one solution here. Okay, the next step is to, well, is it makes sense to take the, 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 the derivative of this one twice. Okay, because we have second derivative. Okay, so take the first derivative. This is my first derivative. I have that one. So... So, power series, how to take the derivative of power series is very simple. It's just like a, a, a an expression. So your variable is x to the something. The rest is your constant. So since this is constant, just rewrite it. So I have re so I rewrite everything here, okay? And then for this one, this is your variable. So use power method, bring down the exponent, okay? And then subtract the exponent by 1, so I have n times x to the n minus 1. And then, if I simplify it, because those are constants, so if I simplify it, I'll get this. Okay? Then, take the sec- oh, before I go to the next step, uh, why I have n equals 1 in red here? Because it is, you cannot just rewrite that one. Okay? Because for some cases, uh, you cannot start at the same n that you use for the solution for y. Okay, I'll go to the next step and I'll explain why. That will make more sense. Okay, here. Take the second derivative of this one. So you have this one, right? This is the simplified form. Use that one. x to the n minus 1 is your variable. The rest is constant. So take this and take the derivative of this one. Bring down the exponent. I have n minus 1. Subtract the exponent by 1 to have x to the n minus 2. Okay? Now, if you uh, just use your common sense to write n equals 1 because we have n equals 1 here. Well, if you plug in 1 into here, this will become 0. And then you have a zero series, zero value. So it doesn't make sense. This work is useless, right? So when it happens, you go to the next n, which is n equal 2. In this case, I have n equals 1 initially. And it doesn't work, so I have to go to the next one, which is n equal 2. Okay? For this case, it works because it doesn't make the, um, the fraction become 0. The series becomes 0, okay? If it if it does, then go to the next one. Okay? Now, once you have um, all three derivative you plug back into this original equation. Before I do that, uh, let me expand this one, so distribute this. So I got x times y double prime plus y double prime plus y prime equals zero. All right, now plug in uh, this, OT, this into here and that into there, okay? Very simple, you just plug in variables. Okay, which I have this. Right now, let's take a look at the exponent. You have this exponent, this exponent, this exponent. Your goal is to make sure that these exponents have the same uh, power. So if I plug in n equal two into here, I get x to the first. But this one, I get x to the zero. This one, I get x to the zero. So the highest exponent is x to the first. And that means I have to run out terms for these power series to match it up. Okay. So let's do that. Let me clean this up a little bit. Alright. So for the first exponent, rewrite it because it's already in, in the form I want, which is x to the first. For the second series, I have to run out terms. So plug in 2 into this series. I get negative 1. Okay. Uh, for n equals 3, plug it into there. I get this. Actually, I just run out one term because once I have n equals 3, 3 minus 2 is equals 1. So I have x to the first, which is what I want over here, x to the first. So I don't have to run out all the terms. So just rewrite the series. Okay? And then for this one, again, I have to run out one more one term. Similar like this one, right? So for that one, if I plug in 1 into this one, I get 1. 
okay and then I have when n equal to plug in 2 into this one I have x to the first which is what I want then I'm gonna stop here just rewrite the whole series right now before you go to the next step uh, you need to make sure that the first step is to um, make sure they have the same exponent in this case I already made it to be the same the second step is to make sure they have the same base the same index <coughs> in this case they do not almost except this one so I have n equal 3 over here and here I have n equals 2 so I need to do what is called what's called re-index the terms which is n equal 3 you could re-index this in this to 3 but I want to do this one because I just do once and for n equal 2 you have to do it twice so I just want to do uh, the series that I have to perform the least work so instead of writing everything here well I'll just work on this one specifically so let me draw a box around it and work on this okay so we index it to 2 so how well you just make uh, you just make it what you want so I have n equal 2 just write it and then again when you uh, whatever you do to the end uh, for the series you have to do the opposite for every single term inside uh, the series so you have n equals 3, n equals 2, you make it to be n equals 2, then you lower 1, right? Then you have to increase 1 for every single term inside here. So I have n equals, that's why I have negative 1 times n plus 2. Because I, oh, let me write it out for you. So, because I lower that 1, I have to increase 1 for every single n inside. So I have negative 1, n plus 1, plus 1, because this is of the formula. Okay, which is n plus 2, okay, you simplify it. For this one, you have n plus 1 minus 1, that gives you n. And then over here, you have n x to the n plus 1 minus 2, which gives you x to the n minus 1, okay. Alright, and don't forget to cross this out to remind yourself that you already replaced this by that, right. And then also another thing is to simplify as much as possible so I have this term and this term they can simplify each other out all right now let's go to the next one so now what you're gonna do next is to combine like terms so I don't have any constant here they already cancel out and then I'm gonna simplify these power series so we write the series and put x to the n minus 1 at the end okay so after you index all the power series you should notice that they will they should start they should have the same exponent and they should start at the same power base, okay? If you don't see those, you know that you did something wrong, okay? So I have that and then put the rest in parentheses, okay? What you have here. Make sense? Name, simplify it. So in order, to, because this cannot be zero, okay? This cannot be zero too, and for the expert uh, for the uh, the variable we don't know. So what makes it equal zero is whatever inside this bracket. Okay, let's see. So I have n minus one plus negative one times n plus one. So you expand this out. I have n minus one minus n plus one. Simplify this. It gives you zero. So you have zero times something, right? You have zero times something. So that becomes zero. On the right side in this work so this is a solution of that okay all right if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time